1950, Sunset VLVD hit the screens, directed, and co-written by Billy Wilder. This classic film takes its name from a significant street in Hollywood, the heart of the American movie industry. The story revolves around William Holden as Joe Gillis, a struggling screenwriter, and Gloria Swanson as Norma Desmond, a faded silent film star. Norma draws Joe into her delusional world, where she dreams of making a triumphant return to the screen. But things take a turn when a practical joke by the director sparks tension on set, causing tempers to flare. Let's delve into how this all unfolds. The film Sunset BLVD is deeply rooted in Hollywood's early history. The street that lends its name to the movie holds a significant place in the origins of the film industry. In 1911, the first film studio was established on this very street, leading to the area's transformation into a bustling hub for the burgeoning film industry. The movie delves into the golden age of Hollywood, a time when the city was brimming with creativity and ambition. It portrays the dream factory that attracted aspiring artists from all corners of the globe, all hoping to make their mark in the world of cinema. Sunset Bielavi offers a glimpse into the glamorous yet often cutthroat world of early Hollywood. The film's characters embody the hopes, dreams, and fears of those who dared to enter the movie business, seeking fame and fortune. As we journey through the movie, we encounter faded stars clinging to their past glory, as well as ruthless executives and ambitious newcomers. These characters navigate the complex web of power, money, and fame that defines the industry. Moreover, Sunset BLVD sheds light on the darker side of Hollywood, exposing the harsh realities faced by those who fail to make it big. The film serves as a reminder of the fleeting nature of fame and the human cost of success in the entertainment industry. In essence, Sunset BLVD is a fascinating time capsule, capturing the spirit of Hollywood's early days. It offers a captivating portrayal of the people and places that shaped the city's rich cinematic history. A big faker. Was he out digging up a job for poor Joe Gillis? Huh. In the 1920s, Hollywood experienced a golden age with profits and salaries soaring to unprecedented heights. This prosperity led to the construction of luxurious homes in the area, symbolizing the success and glamour associated with the film industry at the time. The movie Sunset BLVD offers a glimpse into this era, showcasing the extravagant lifestyle of the rich and famous in Hollywood. The film follows the story of Norma Desmond, a silent film star who has fallen out of touch with the changing times. She lives in a mansion on Sunset Boulevard, surrounded by memories of her past glory. The mansion, with its opulent decor and grandeur, is a testament to the success and extravagance of the 1920s Hollywood. The characters in the movie, including Norma Desmond, represent the real-life stars of the 1920s who struggled to adapt to the new era of talkies. The film highlights the stark contrast between the glamorous lifestyle of the rich and famous and the harsh realities of the industry. The 1920s Hollywood, as portrayed in Sunset BLVD, was a time of great prosperity and success, but also a time of change and uncertainty. The movie captures the essence of this era, showcasing the opulence and glamour of the time, while also highlighting the struggles and challenges faced by those in the industry. Despite being released in 1950, the movie remains a classic and continues to resonate with audiences today. Its exploration of the human condition, the struggle for success, and the impact of change on individuals and society remains as relevant today as it was when the film was first released. The movie serves as a reminder of the glamour and extravagance of the 1920s Hollywood, but also of the challenges and struggles faced by those in the industry. The house in Malibu, you have the whole ocean. And when our picture's finished, I'll buy you a boat. Billy Wilder, a young man growing up in Berlin, found himself captivated by American culture and films. The grand Hollywood houses and their silent film era inhabitants held a particular allure for him. This fascination would eventually inspire Wilder to create Sunset BLVD, a movie that explores the lives of those whose fame had faded. The film's protagonist, Norma Desmond, is a faded silent film star, living in seclusion in her decaying mansion on Sunset Boulevard. Desperate to return to the spotlight, she becomes entangled with a struggling screenwriter, Joe Gillis, who stumbles upon her home. Wilder's time in Berlin, where he was exposed to the works of German expressionist filmmakers, greatly influenced his directorial style. He brought this unique perspective to Sunset BLFD, creating a film that is both a critique and a love letter to Hollywood. The film's exploration of the darker side of fame 
and the harsh realities of the film industry resonated with audiences. The story of Norma Desmond, a woman who cannot let go of her past glory, remains a cautionary tale for those who seek fame and fortune in the entertainment industry. Sunset BLEV also marked a turning point in Wilder's career, solidifying his status as a leading director in Hollywood. The film's critical and commercial success proved that Wilder was a force to be reckoned with in the industry. In conclusion, Sunset BLV is a classic film that continues to captivate audiences today. Its exploration of fame, fortune, and the harsh realities of Hollywood is as relevant now as it was when it was first released. Wilder's fascination with American culture and films, particularly the grand Hollywood houses and their silent film era inhabitants, served as the inspiration for this timeless masterpiece. Call. Now DeMille can wait until I'm good and ready. Norma Desmond, brought to life by Gloria Swanson in the movie Sunset BLED, is a character that mirrors the declining fortunes of real silent film stars. Swanson expertly weaves elements from the lives of these fading stars into Desmond's character, creating a complex and intriguing persona. Desmond's reclusive tendencies are one of the most striking aspects of her character. She lives in a mansion in the heart of Hollywood, isolated from the world around her. The mansion, once a bustling hub of activity, now stands as a testament to Desmond's former glory. She spends her days in seclusion, surrounded by memories of her past success. Mental health issues also play a significant role in shaping Desmond's character. She is portrayed as a woman struggling to come to terms with the end of her career, and the changing landscape of the film industry. Her mental state is fragile, and she often slips into delusions of grandeur. Swanson's performance is a masterclass in acting, bringing to life a character that is both tragic and terrifying. She manages to capture the desperation and delusion of a woman who refuses to accept that her time in the spotlight has passed. The character of Norma Desmond is a poignant reminder of the fleeting nature of fame and the devastating impact it can have on those who cling to it. The movie Sunset Bellaby is a classic study of Hollywood and the people who inhabit its glamorous world. Norma Desmond's character is at the heart of this story, a tragic figure who embodies the hopes and fears of all those who have ever sought fame and fortune in the movie industry. Swanson's portrayal of Desmond is a tour de force, a powerful and enduring performance that continues to resonate with audiences today. Oh, this is more important. Time City Desk, Hedda Hopper speaking. I'm talking from the bedroom of Norma Desmond. In the 1950 movie Sunset BLBD, Gloria Swanson took on the role of Norma Desmond, a silent film star who struggles to come to terms with the end of her career in the era of talking pictures. Interestingly, Swanson's own journey in the industry was quite different from that of her character. Unlike Norma Desmond, Swanson had gracefully transitioned from silent films to radio and television. However, she found the role of Norma Desmond compelling and showcased her deep understanding of the industry's transition from silent to sound films. Swanson's portrayal of Desmond was a nuanced and powerful performance that resonated with audiences and critics alike. Swanson's ability to tap into the complex emotions of a fading star was a testament to her skill as an actress. She brought to life a character that was both tragic and terrifying, capturing the desperation and delusion of a woman who refuses to let go of her past glory. Despite the success of Sunset BLED, Swanson never fully returned to the world of film, instead focusing on television and stage work. However, her performance in this classic has endured as a powerful example of her talent and versatility. Swanson's portrayal of Norma Desmond remains a fascinating study of a bygone era in Hollywood and a poignant reminder of the fleeting nature of fame. Her ability to step into the shoes of a character so different from herself is a testament to her skill as an actress and her understanding of the human condition. Hmm. Frankly, no. Now, wait a minute. If we made it a girl's song... The filming location for Sunset BLVD holds a fascinating secret. The Desmond Mansion, central to the movie setting, was actually situated on South Irving Boulevard, not Sunset Boulevard as the title suggests. This classic film's production team chose this location to create the illusion of the iconic Sunset Strip. The Desmond Mansion had a constructed swimming pool that played a significant role in Revel Without a Cause, another classic film released just a few years later. This pool became a symbolic prop, used to great effect in both movies. In Sunset BLVD, the mansion's grandeur and isolation perfectly encapsulate the reclusive and faded silent film star Norma Desmond's character. 
The swimming pool, a symbol of Hollywood's glamorous lifestyle, becomes a stage for some of the movie's most dramatic scenes. The film's production design team skillfully transformed the Desmond Mansion into a decaying palace, reflecting Norma's mental state and her inability to let go of her past glory. The location's actual distance from the Sunset Strip added to the illusion of Norma's self-imposed exile from the world of contemporary Hollywood. In retrospect, the choice of the Desmond Mansion on South Irving Boulevard, rather than an actual location on Sunset Boulevard, adds a layer of symbolism to the movie. It underscores the theme of illusion versus reality, a central motif in Sunset BLVD. This choice of filming location, though seemingly trivial, contributes significantly to the movie's enduring appeal and its resonance in the annals of film history. Madame is one. In Sunset BLVD, Gloria Swanson's dedication to her role as Norma Desmond was unparalleled. She embraced method acting, staying in character, even offset, which demonstrated the depth of her commitment. Swanson's immersion in the role was so complete that it became difficult to distinguish between the actress and the character she portrayed. Goodbye, Norma. No one ever. Sunset BLVD provides a fascinating look into Hollywood culture of the 1950s. The film accurately portrays the industry's meeting spots, including the famous Schwab's Pharmacy. This drugstore was not only a place to fill prescriptions, but also a popular hangout for Hollywood's elite. It was a spot where aspiring actors and established stars would gather, exchange ideas, and even be discovered as depicted in the movie. Moreover, the film references Pomona, a typical American town, highlighting Hollywood's influence on and reflection of American society. The characters in the movie, despite being deeply embedded in the glitz and glamour of Hollywood, are still connected to the everyday American life represented by Pomona. This juxtaposition emphasizes the idea that Hollywood, though often perceived as a separate world, is deeply intertwined with the rest of America. The movie also sheds light on the relationship between Hollywood and the public. It explores the fine line between the public's fascination with the personal lives of celebrities and the celebrity's desire for privacy. This theme remains relevant today, making Sunset BLV a timeless classic that continues to resonate with audiences. In essence, Sunset BLVD is a compelling depiction of Hollywood culture, offering a glimpse into the industry's meeting places, its influence on American society, and the complex relationship between celebrities and the public. Oscar, tell me. Nobody here can give you any information, and you will plead. Paramount Studio played a significant role in the production of Sunset BLVD. The studio allowed the use of its premises and identity without disguise, indicating the industry's interest and support for the project. This level of involvement was unusual, as films often keep the identity of studios hidden or use disguises. The film explores the complexities of using real names and personas of celebrities. Some, like Greta Garbo, initially agreed to have their personas referenced in the film, but later regretted their involvement due to the film's critical portrayal. The use of real names and personas added to the film's authenticity, making it a reflection of the Hollywood industry. The movie also features celebrity cameos, including well-known stars like Buster Keaton and Anna Q. Nilsson. These appearances added to the film's credibility and provided a glimpse into the lives of the celebrities of that era. In summary, Paramount Studios' involvement and the use of real names and celebrity cameos in Sunset Bielavid highlighted the industry's interest and support for the project. The film's authenticity and reflection of the Hollywood industry made it a classic that continues to resonate with audiences today. What are you gonna do, Joe? What are you gonna do? Renowned for his on-set humor, Billy Wilder, the director of Sunset BLVD, was known to play pranks that lightened the mood during production. A notable instance occurred during a kissing scene between William Holden and Nancy Olsen, where Wilder extended the take to tease Holden's wife, who was also present on set. This anecdote showcases the lighter side of film production, offering a glimpse into the camaraderie that often exists behind the scenes. Moving on to the film's critical reception, Sunset BLVD received an outpouring of acclaim from critics and audiences alike. It earned a total of 11 Academy Award nominations, ultimately winning three awards in the categories of Best Story and Screenplay, Best Art Direction Set Decoration, Black and White, and Best Music, Scoring of a Dramatic or Comedy Picture. 
The film's success at the Academy Awards is a testament to its enduring impact on cinema and its status as one of the greatest films ever made. The legacy of Sunset Bellevue has only grown stronger with time. Its exploration of the darker side of Hollywood and the human condition continues to resonate with audiences today. The film's masterful storytelling, unforgettable characters, and biting commentary on the industry have cemented its place in the annals of film history. This classic serves as a reminder of the power of cinema to both entertain and enlighten, leaving a lasting impression on all who experience it. Sunset BLED is a 1950 movie that continues to captivate audiences today. Its exploration of Hollywood's darker side, through the story of a faded silent film star, was groundbreaking. The film's director, Billy Wilder, masterfully blended drama and dark humor, creating a timeless critique of the entertainment industry. The movie's impact is evident in its enduring legacy. It introduced the world to the concept of the has-been star, a theme that has been revisited in countless films and TV shows. The character of Norma Desmond, played by Gloria Swanson, remains an iconic representation of Hollywood's darker side. Moreover, Sunset BLVD was a technical marvel. Its innovative use of lighting, camera angles, and sound set new standards for filmmaking. The famous line, All right, Mr. d I'm ready for my close-up, is still quoted today, a testament to the film's cultural significance. The film's relevance today lies in its exploration of obsession, fame, and the human condition. The story of a person desperate to remain relevant in a world that has moved on is a timeless tale. The film's themes of manipulation, power, and the corrupting influence of fame are as relevant today as they were in 1950. In conclusion, Sunset BOVD is a classic film that continues to resonate with audiences. Its exploration of Hollywood's darker side, innovative filmmaking techniques, and timeless themes ensure its relevance today. Here's some camel's hair. But I like the casting process for Sunset BLVD in 1950 was a fascinating journey. Director Billy Wilder wanted Gloria Swanson for the lead role of Norma Desmond, a faded silent film star. Swanson, a former silent film star herself, was an unusual choice, but Wilder was convinced she was perfect for the part. Swanson was initially hesitant, having left Hollywood years ago, but she eventually agreed. For the role of Joe Gillis, the struggling screenwriter who becomes entangled in Desmond's world, Wilder chose William Holden. Holden was a rising star at the time, and Wilder believed he had the right mix of charm and cynicism for the role. Holden was also drawn to the complex character of Gillis. Ernest Hemingway's novel A Farewell to Arms inspired the character of Max von Meyerling, Desmond's loyal butler and former director. Wilder wanted an experienced actor for this role, and chose Eric von Stroheim, who had been a director in the silent film era. Von Stroheim's real-life experiences in Hollywood added depth to his portrayal of Max. The chemistry between Swanson and Holden was immediate and intense, which Wilder believed was crucial for the film's success. He encouraged them to improvise their lines and interactions, which added to the film's natural feel. The supporting cast was also carefully selected. Nancy Olsen, a young and relatively unknown actress, was chosen for the role of Betty Schaefer, a script reader who becomes Gillis's love interest. Olsen's freshness and innocence provided a stark contrast to Swanson's Desmond. Jack Webb, known for his role in the radio series Dragnet, was cast as Artie Green, Betty's boyfriend. His no-nonsense, tough guy persona added a layer of complexity to the character. In the end, the casting of Sunset BLVD was a testament to Wilder's vision and instincts. Each actor brought their unique experiences and talents to their roles, creating a film that continues to captivate audiences today. Oh, no, no. Gordon, this is C.B. DeMille. Have you been calling Norma Desmond? Yes, ma'am. The 1950 film Sunset BLVD bears the distinct directorial vision of Billy Wilder. Known for his incisive wit and keen understanding of the human condition, Wilder approached this story with a unique blend of cynicism and empathy. Wilder was influenced by the German Expressionist movement, which is evident in the film's dramatic lighting and set design. The mansion where much of the film takes place is a character in itself, a testament to Wilder's attention to detail and his ability to use visual elements to enhance the narrative. Collaboration was key to Wilder's approach. He worked closely with his cast and crew, fostering a creative environment that allowed for innovation and experimentation. For Sunset Bill VD, 
Wilder enlisted the talents of legendary cinematographer John Seitz, who helped create the film's distinctive visual style. Wilder's work with the actors was equally collaborative. He famously allowed his stars, Gloria Swanson and William Holden, to ad-lib their lines, resulting in some of the film's most memorable moments. Swanson, a former silent film star, brought her own experiences to the role, adding depth and authenticity to her portrayal of the fated star. Norma Desmond, in Sunset BLUV, Wilder created a world that is both glamorous and grotesque, a critique of the Hollywood machine and a tribute to the golden age of cinema. His vision, brought to life through his collaboration with the cast and crew, has left an indelible mark on the history of film. There have been some attempts at suicide. Now, we have to... The production of the 1950 classic Sunset BLVD was a significant endeavor. The film noir masterpiece was primarily shot on sound stages at Paramount Pictures in Hollywood. Set design played a pivotal role in creating the eerie and theatrical atmosphere of the movie. The mansion of the reclusive silent film star, Norma Desmond, was the central location. The set was meticulously designed to reflect Desmond's decaying grandeur and delusion. It was built as a two-story structure, complete with a long driveway, a garage, and an indoor swimming pool. The interior was adorned with opulent furniture, heavy drapes, and Baroque statues, reflecting the extravagant taste of the bygone era. The film also utilized exterior locations to enhance the narrative. The iconic scene where Joe Gillis, the struggling screenwriter, first drives up to Desmond's mansion was shot on Wilshire Boulevard in Los Angeles. The Paramount lot was used to depict the funeral scene, and the New Year's Eve party was filmed at the Ambassador Hotel. However, filming was not without its challenges. The production faced budget constraints, and the film went over schedule. The script was also a work in progress during filming, with director Billy Wilder making changes as they went along. Despite these hurdles, Wilder employed innovative techniques to enhance the storytelling. He used deep focus photography, a technique where both the foreground and background are in sharp focus to create a sense of depth and reality. This was particularly effective in the scene where Gillis first enters Desmond's mansion, where the grandeur of the mansion is contrasted with the squalor of Gillis's car in the foreground. The film also made use of long takes, such as the opening scene where Gillis's car is towed, which was shot in a single take. This technique added a sense of continuity and realism to the narrative. In conclusion, the production of Sunset BLV was a complex process that required careful planning and execution. The set design, locations, and innovative filming techniques all contributed to the film's enduring legacy as a classic of Hollywood cinema. Percent? I'm your friend. You are. Don't you know the finest things in the world have been written on an empty stomach? The 1950 film noir Sunset BLVD is a classic in its own right, renowned for its chilling tale of obsession and faded glory. A significant part of its allure lies in its haunting musical score, which masterfully complements the narrative and emotional tone of the movie. Franz Waxman, a German-born composer, was the man behind the music. With a remarkable career spanning over three decades, Waxman was known for his ability to create music that deeply resonated with the storyline and characters. For Sunset BLVD, Waxman composed a score that subtly mirrored the psychological turmoil of the protagonist, Norma Desmond, played by Gloria Swanson. The music swings between the glamorous past of silent films and the harsh reality of the present, echoing Norma's struggle to accept her faded stardom. One of the most memorable pieces from the score is the eerie Paramount strings, played during the opening scene. The dissonant chords and haunting melodies set the stage for the unsettling tale that unfolds. Waxman also incorporated elements of classical music, reflecting Norma's background as a silent film star. The love theme, for instance, draws inspiration from Puccini's operas, a favorite of Norma's character. Interestingly, Waxman composed the score without seeing the completed film. He worked solely from the script and discussions with the director, Billy Wilder. This approach allowed him to create music that truly captured the essence of the story, making the score an integral part of the film's narrative. The soundtrack also features songs from the era, further enhancing the film's historical authenticity. The use of popular tunes like Guadalajara and Buttons and Bows provides a stark contrast to Waxman's original score, highlighting the divide between Norma's glamorous past and the harsh reality of her present life. In conclusion, the musical score and soundtrack of Sunset BLED are a testament to the power of music and storytelling.
Waxman score, with its haunting melodies and classical influences, perfectly encapsulates the emotional turmoil and faded glory of Norma Desmond's world. The inclusion of period songs further enriches the film's historical context, making the music an essential component of the film's enduring appeal. Thank you, Max. One of the most iconic scenes in Sunset VLVD is the entrance of Norma Desmond, played by Gloria Swanson. As the camera pans up from her feet to her face, the lighting and set design create a dramatic, larger-than-life effect. Swanson's performance is over the top, yet perfectly captures the delusional and eccentric nature of Norma. Director Billy Wilder wanted to make sure the audience realized that Norma was a silent film star, so he had Swanson overact on purpose. Another memorable scene is the famous line, all right, Mr. DeMille, I'm ready for my close-up. The camera slowly moves in on Swanson's face as she delivers the line, creating an intense and unforgettable moment. Swanson herself came up with the idea of the close-up, and Wilder loved it. He later said, that close-up was the greatest shot I ever had when we saw the dailies. The crew broke into applause. The famous New Year's Eve party scene is also worth mentioning. The set is designed to look like a lavish, decadent party from the 1920s, with guests dressed in outlandish costumes. The scene is filmed in a single take, with the camera moving through the crowd, capturing the chaos and excitement of the party. Wilder wanted to create a sense of claustrophobia and unease, which he achieved through the use of tight shots and crowded frames. The final scene, in which Joe is killed and Norma descends into madness, is a powerful and tragic moment. The use of shadows and lighting creates a dark and ominous atmosphere, while Swanson's performance is both heart-wrenching and terrifying. The final shot of Norma walking towards the camera, believing she is about to start filming again, is a haunting and unforgettable image. These iconic scenes have had a lasting impact on audiences and filmmakers alike. They have been parodied and referenced in countless other films and TV shows, and remain some of the most memorable moments in cinema history. The film's exploration of the darker side of Hollywood and the consequences of fame and fortune continue to resonate with audiences today. Pictures that got small. Uh -huh. I knew there was something wrong. They're dead. Released in 1950, the movie Sunset BLED left a significant cultural and social impact. The film, directed by Billy Wilder, tells the story of a faded silent film star, Norma Desmond, and her unhealthy obsession with a struggling screenwriter, Joe Gillis. The film resonated with audiences due to its exploration of themes such as Hollywood's darker side, the fear of aging, and the corrupting influence of fame. Sunset BLED was a critical and commercial success earning 11 Academy Award nominations and winning three, including for Best Story and Best Score. The film's portrayal of Hollywood's darker side was groundbreaking, exposing the harsh realities of the film industry and the exploitation of those who worked within it. The film's impact on pop culture was significant, with its iconic lines and characters becoming part of the cultural lexicon. The character of Norma Desmond, played by Gloria Swanson, has become synonymous with the image of the aging Hollywood star. Unable to come to terms with the loss of her youth and fame, Sunset Bielovit also contributed to discussions on relevant social and cultural themes. The film's exploration of the fear of aging and the corrupting influence of fame resonated with audiences, reflecting the anxieties and fears of the post-war era. The film's portrayal of the exploitation of those in the film industry also sparked discussions about the need for better working conditions and protections for those in the industry. In conclusion, Sunset BLB left a lasting cultural and social impact, resonating with audiences and influencing pop culture. The film's exploration of Hollywood's darker side, the fear of aging, and the corrupting influence of fame contributed to important discussions on relevant social and cultural themes, leaving a lasting legacy in the world of cinema. This is where you came in. Back at that pool again. The one I always wanted. Sunset BLVD received critical acclaim upon its release in 1950. The film's biting commentary on Hollywood and its tarnished glamour left a lasting impression on audiences and critics alike. Noted film critic Bosley Crowther of the New York Times praised the film, stating, for what it is, a poison pen letter to Hollywood, it is quite brilliant. He commended the film's superbly contrived script and trenchant satire. The film also resonated with audiences who found its dark portrayal of Hollywood's underbelly intriguing. 
The film's unconventional narrative structure, which alternates between past and present, added to its allure. Sunset Bellaby received a total of 11 Academy Award nominations, including for Best Picture, Best Director, Best Actor, and Best Actress. Ultimately, the film won three awards Best Story and Screenplay, Best Art Direction, and Best Score. These accolades were significant for those involved in the film. Director Billy Wilder's masterful storytelling and direction were recognized, solidifying his status as a leading filmmaker. The film's stars, Gloria Swanson and William Holden, were also lauded for their performances. Swanson's portrayal of the faded silent film star Norma Desmond remains one of the most iconic roles in film history. The film's awards and nominations also highlighted the collaborative nature of filmmaking. The film's art direction, score, and screenplay were all recognized, showcasing the contributions of various artists and craftspeople. In the end, Sunset BLVD's critical reception and awards served as a testament to the film's enduring impact. The film's exploration of the darker side of Hollywood continues to resonate with audiences today, and its themes of aging, fame, and obsession remain as relevant as ever. It wiped the whole nasty mess right out of my life. In the early stages of production, director Billy Wilder and his co-writer, Charles Brackett, faced a significant challenge. They needed to find a leading lady who could portray the aging, faded silent film star, Norma Desmond. After numerous auditions, they stumbled upon Gloria Swanson, a former silent film star herself. Swanson's extensive experience in silent films and her understanding of Norma's character made her the perfect fit for the role. During filming, Swanson insisted on maintaining the air of a diva, both on and off the set. She arrived in a limousine every day, accompanied by her servant and pet dog. Despite her demanding presence, the cast and crew couldn't help but be captivated by her talent and professionalism. One of Swanson's most iconic scenes in the movie is her dramatic descent down the grand staircase. In reality, the staircase was much smaller, but Swanson's larger-than-life personality and Wilder's clever camera angles made it appear grand and imposing. The film's iconic opening scene, where the camera pans across a dead body in a swimming pool, was almost never filmed. The original plan was to begin the movie with a shot of the house, but Wilder changed his mind at the last minute. The crew had already filled the pool with water, so they quickly adjusted the scene, and the rest is history. William Holden, who played the struggling screenwriter, Joe Gillis, was not Wilder's first choice for the role. Wilder initially wanted Montgomery Clift, but when he became unavailable, Holden stepped in. Holden's portrayal of the cynical, world-weary Gillis added depth and complexity to the character, making him a perfect counterbalance to Swanson's Norma. The film's iconic line, All right, Mr. DeMill, I'm ready for my close-up, was ad-libbed by Swanson during filming. Wilder loved it so much that he kept it in the final cut, and it has since become one of the most memorable lines in cinema history. Despite the film's critical and commercial success, it was not without controversy. The Catholic Legion of Decency condemned the film, citing its questionable taste and morbidity. However, this only added to the film's allure and intrigue, and it has since become a classic of American cinema. Without a doubt, the 1950 movie Sunset BLVD holds a significant place in film history. Its exploration of Hollywood's darker side, the blurred lines between reality and fiction, and the tragic tale of a faded silent film star, Norma Desmond, left an indelible mark on the film industry. Directed by Billy Wilder, Sunset Belle VD is a scathing critique of the Hollywood machine, a theme that would resonate with future filmmakers. The movie's unapologetic examination of the industry's superficiality and the ruthless pursuit of youth and fame inspired a host of subsequent films. For instance, the 1957 film A Face in the Crowd directed by Elia Kazan explores the corrupting influence of fame, echoing the themes presented in Sunset BLVD. Similarly, the 1975 film The Day of the Locust, directed by John Schlesinger, delves into the darker aspects of Hollywood, drawing inspiration from Wilder's masterpiece. Sunset Belle V also introduced a unique narrative structure, interweaving present and past through flashbacks, a technique that has since been widely adopted in filmmaking. The film's innovative use of black humor and its exploration of the human condition in the face of fame and fortune have also been influential. Moreover, the film's iconic characters, particularly Norma Desmond, have become ingrained in popular culture. Desmond's dramatic line, I am big. It's the pictures that got small, 
encapsulates the film's exploration of ego, delusion, and the cost of fame. This character has inspired numerous portrayals in various media, including the 1997 film The Player directed by Robert Altman. In conclusion, Sunset BLVD has left an enduring legacy in the world of film. Its exploration of Hollywood's darker side, its innovative narrative structure, and its unforgettable characters have inspired countless filmmakers and continue to resonate in contemporary cinema. Stars have great pride. Did you know that the classic film Sunset BLVD has been captivating audiences for over 70 years? Released in 1950, this movie has left an indelible mark on cinema history. We'd love to hear about your personal experiences and memories related to this timeless masterpiece. Perhaps you were mesmerized by the hauntingly beautiful performance of Gloria Swanson as Norma Desmond, or maybe you found yourself intrigued by the chilling tale of faded glory and unhealthy obsession. Whatever your connection to Sunset BLUB, we'd be thrilled to hear your story. Did this film inspire you to pursue a career in filmmaking or acting? Or did it make you view classic Hollywood through a different lens? Share your thoughts with us and our community of cinema enthusiasts. We encourage you to like, share, and subscribe to our channel for more explorations of classic films and their impact on our lives. Your engagement helps us continue to create content that resonates with you. So, don't be shy. Leave a comment below and tell us about your memories and experiences related to Sunset BLV. We can't wait to hear from you. One of your assistants. Hmm? What assistant? I don't play innocent. Somebody named uh, Gordon Cole.